Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. As one of the world's leading chip manufacturers, TSMC has played a key role for many years. However, in recent years, TSMC has fallen into a series of difficulties. Especially in 2023, TSMC's capital expenditures have been drastically reduced. Instead of increasing, they have decreased by 8 billion US dollars. At the same time, TSMC's second largest customer, Huawei, has also been restricted due to the United States' revision of chip rules, causing TSMC to lose a large number of orders. This series of events not only caused TSMC to lose more than 40 billion US dollars, but also caused it to face many unpredictable challenges and troubles. As TSMC's second largest customer, Huawei contributes approximately 40 billion yuan in revenue to TSMC every year and is still growing rapidly. However, the US government has repeatedly revised chip rules to restrict TSMC from providing chips to Huawei, which directly caused TSMC to lose orders from Huawei. It is worth noting that about 60% of TSMC's revenue comes from US companies, and the US government also provides high subsidies to support TSMC's investment and factory building plans in the United States. However, these measures did not bring the expected returns to TSMC. According to the Lian He Zaobao report, in the past four months, TSMC's market value has evaporated by 77 billion US dollars, approximately 560 billion yuan, which is equivalent to the total GDP of Jinhua City, Zhejiang Province in 2022 and the scale of losses ranks first in Asia. According to industry insiders, Huawei Mate 60 is equipped with Kirin Core and has made a strong return, directly tearing off the last fig leaf of TSMC, and its stock price fell by 11% in response. China has blocked all bottlenecks, and the mainland semiconductor industry no longer poses a threat. TSMC founder Zhong Zhongmu once threatened in an interview with the New York Times. As the world's first-class wafer foundry company, TSMC plays an important role in the chip industry. Trendforce data shows that in the second quarter of 2023, TSMC's global market share was as high as 56.4%. This brilliance cannot be achieved without the contribution of the mainland market. It is reported that TSMC has taken orders from many Chinese companies such as Huawei and Xiaomi. At its peak, it earned 55 billion a year, equivalent to 9.16 million mate 60 units. Unexpectedly, TSMC which has devoured all the dividends from the mainland market, was willing to be the vanguard to suppress China under the inducement of the United States. Data show that in 2021, the United States introduced the CHIP Act against Huawei. TSMC not only actively responded to the CHIP supply cutoff plan, but also spent 40 billion of its own money to build a factory in the United States, threatening to not give mainland semiconductor development opportunities. As the saying goes, when the sky is crazy, it will rain, and when people are crazy, there will be disaster. TSMC did not expect that not only did it fail to live a more prosperous life, but it was severely trapped by the United States and the road to building a factory was even more difficult. At that time, the United States promised 52 billion yuan in factory construction subsidies, but only 3.9 billion yuan has been realized today. However, 
TSMC is facing a dilemma of a 300% increase in operating costs. Not only that, the United States also requested TSMC to deploy 500 core technical personnel to aid the development of U.S. companies, citing the scarcity of talent. This also caused the mass production plan to be postponed until after 2025. What makes it even more distressing is that since 2022, the global semiconductor industry has encountered a cold winter, coupled with the reduction in iPhone 15 shipments, more than half of the 100 billion orders that TSMC was looking forward to have evaporated, and it has been forced to close some production lines. On the other hand, Huawei Mate 60, which has exploded in China, has continued to increase its shipments. TSMC, which is regretful, finally admitted that it was making a mistake by leaving the Chinese market. TSMC wants to turn back. It's too late. Now, TSMC, which has suffered a lot, is looking for opportunities to return to the Chinese market. According to foreign media reports, after Huawei released its new machine, TSMC immediately applied for export exemption from the United States and planned to restart the Nanjing 28 nanometers chip factory. However, reality gave TSMC a blow in the face, and this change of heart was ultimately too late. Since the United States started suppressing chips, China has continued to set off an upsurge in independent chip research and development. Chinese companies represented by Yangtze Memory and Changshan Memory have successively replaced more than 80% of 14 nanometers chips with domestic products. Now, Huawei Mate 60 is equipped with the Kirin Chip King, which indicates that the domestic chip supply chain will become self-sufficient and will no longer be controlled by the United States. TSMC may face an existential crisis. Previously, the head of TSMC said arrogantly, the mainland market only contributes 10% of revenue, and any investment must give priority to the United States. Fortunately, when TSMC and the United States cooperated internally and externally, China did not suffer from it. Instead, it reversed the situation in just a few years. According to reports, Huawei's Kirin core performance and other smoothness are no less than those of Apple, and it plans to stop purchasing Qualcomm chips next year. Experts predict that with the continuous iteration of domestic technology, TSMC may face an existential crisis in the next two to three years. Only then did the arrogant Westerners realize that there is no permanent winner, whether in chips or other high-end fields. As for whether TSMC, which has repeatedly jumped, will return, it doesn't seem to be that important. Because China already has enough confidence to shout, you are not welcome here.